constantly been working uh, very hard to help all the current affairs for the Himachal state. We already have uh, three volumes of those uh, current compendium available to all of you. And uh, every fortnight, uh, sorry, every three months, every quarter, we uh, uh, we, we, we narrate that, and of course, uh, it is under her headship and her mentorship that uh, it is done. So today's session is all about preparing for a lot of upcoming exams um, in the public sector. Uh, Naipta Sigilar is one exam, Allied, HPS Allied Services, another exam. And the third exam that we are going to focus upon today, that Nidhi Ma'am would be focusing on today, is uh, uh, HPS prelims exams, right? And uh, the focus is going to be on the lacunas that are there, right? See, in this uh, age of information, mm, there is no dearth of what is to be done. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure all of you are aware of the resources uh, that you need to go through and uh, study from. But a mentor, his presence or her presence in your life uh, adds a new dimension to your preparation because he or she is there to direct you and, and guide you as to how to prepare, right? So there's not going to be any gyan, there is not going to be any common sense information on this call. And the whole focus is going to be on the resources that you would need to prepare for the upcoming exams and then how to consolidate those, uh, those resources and how to consolidate the hard work that she has put in as a mentor, as a content creator, uh, through the books that she has been uh, uh, creating uh, on uh, current affairs, how can you best take the advantage of the content which is readily available to you uh, for your preparation and, you know, uh, uh, increase your marks in the given exams and uh, go beyond the cutoff, right? So this is the whole schema. It's going to be a session for about 50 minutes. And post that, we will take up your questions if you have any. And while the session is on, if you have any questions, you can put that in the chat box. I will remain to support her uh, throughout the session and I'll be uh, sharing your questions with her, right? And uh, that is all I have to say. Over to you, Nithi. Yeah. Hey, good evening, all of you. Thank you so much, Shipa, uh, for the constant support. And yes, um, I'm humbled by your introduction. But uh, big thanks to all the aspirants and the participants, right? Thank you so much for showing that, that faith and trust as well as that curiosity to learn and to raise your perspective and standard of learning, right? As uh, you know, you already know, we will be today talking about the integration of the state-specific current information from all the perspectives, right? There are, uh, you know, aspirants who will be taking up interviews also. There are aspirants who are targeting for other exams also. So I will be, I'm planning to take it at three levels, right? First, we'll talk about from the objective perspective, right? When you get fit from prelims point of view, beat any exam, you know, you will be appearing for Nyate Sildar exam also, you'll be, you are, you're aspiring for HS also, right? And then at the second level, we'll talk about the, uh, the subjective perspective, right? That subjective perspective, will be writing it from HS means, and in that subjective itself, you know, the third level will be taken care of. That is your, you know, come interview. That how do you present yourself? And especially, I think on this call, we have love and other aspirants who are waiting for their mains results. And yes, we are all hopeful they are going to get an interview call. How will you present, uh, you know, yourself as updated, uh, you know, would be bureaucrat that you know the integrated knowledge of the Himachal state? Right. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you can, I'll start with talking about what all learning models we should keep in mind when we prepare. Especially as you all know that we have uh, current affairs information, lots of information. All of you, screen is visible. Yes, yes. All right. So, see. Yes, all right. Thank you. So, it is. How do we take Himachal State current affairs? You have already those current affairs all updated, consolidated, compiled. But the, the idea is that how will you utilize it and 
how will even your examiner will utilize it in asking you the question right so here today we will talk about two models of current affairs learning right the first model which is uh, you know very very simple talks about the vertical learning model when i say vertical learning model i mean that we take care of the national level current affairs when i say national level that means what are the central government initiatives are somewhere they are in sync with the state level that is you know the hp state himachal state ke uska reference kya hai and do we have any reference to the district level also can be related to that that means now all the time while preparing while registering information we have to follow this to and fro this you know both the ways by directional kind of approach let me here give you one example of this vertical part right let's say we talk about now see these days all of us we know that atal tunnel is is in news you agree all of you you agree with this are we yes, all familiar with yes, this ma yes ma'am yes ma'am that means now now thankfully fortunately it is a matter of so much of pride for himachal state that at the not only just national level but even at the international level guess anyone who can tell me what has happened globally at international level something pertaining to atal tunnel yeah, yeah it has got got world record declared as the highest record. yes it has been declared at the highest as the tunnel Altitude. Yes, oh. altitude target okay. above ten thousand feet, right? That means it is internationally. So internationally, then yes, of course, nationally we talk about that it comes under physical infrastructure. Yes, then we relate it to okay, since it is related, really, you know, located in the Kulu district of Himachal State. So that means district, state, national, international. This is what we call it as vertical learning model. right and that means whatever you happen to learn jo bhi aap pad rahe hain samajh rahe hain sun rahe hain right jo government ke national flagship programs hain right so that means do national level your state level and if at all there is any scope related to the district level now let me give you another example so the government through niti ayog has this program of aspirational district program right and then there are various districts which have been selected yes how many districts few of the students so 170 117 districts have been selected now so this is at the national level now from the state level can we identify ki himachal state ka kaun sa district is aspirational transformation of aspirational district program mein aata hai which district we are talking about chamba na chamba chamba okay now this information that means this there is always a linkage right and if what if we add the current part that okay recently chamba you know has been allocated you know to rupees 2 crores under this aspirational district program right so that means this is what we you know know as vertical model let, let's take another example aap aajkal bahut zyada apni state ke news mein sun rahe honge that you know dharmshala is preparing some master plan or some activities going on so that means again at the national level you have smart city mission so at the state level how, you know how many cities have been selected of himachal state two two, two. two cities dharmshala mm-hmm. related to the districts i'm shimla and dharmshala na shimla and if we relate to the district it will be be kangra district yes specifically so we're talking about the two cities shimla and dharmshala this is this is what we call it as say this is a vertical model where you have this integration राइट अब वो इंटीग्रेशन यदि आप स्टेट लेवल पर या डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पर पढ़ रहे हैं लेट सपोज लेट सपोज दिस दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड यू नो प्रीवियस ईयर एच एच पी एस प्रीलिम्स आल्सो राइट लेट आपके प्रीलिम्स में क्वेश्चन था कि किस डिस्ट्रिक्ट ने डिस्ट्रिक्ट गुड गवर्नेंस इंडेक्स में टॉप किया है राइट right? 
So this was the last year, this performance. And here at that time, it was Bilaspur district. Right. Now, now we are going to take the school. Now, we have become a district from here. Right. Now, what is the so unique about the so unique about Himachal state, this district good governance index? Because Himachal state is the first state to launch or to start with this initiative of good governance. That is, you know, ranking the districts and instilling a spirit of competition among the districts. And then we relate it to national level itself that since we celebrate Good Governance Day, since Niti Aayog also focus so much on Good Governance Index and currently Niti Aayog is preparing, you know, Good Governance Index for Jammu and Kashmir also, right? So that means this, but this is the achievement of the state and this is the district. But if we up current scenario, mein padenge, now it is not Bilaspur, which district has stopped district good governance index. Hamirpur. It is Hamirpur. Yes, thank you. I hope so. Jab bhi aap koi information pad rahe hai, read kar rahe hai, right? It is very important ki aapka ye ek vertical uh, aspect jo hai, that should be open, right? Now let's talk about the second. Part. Then I'll come back to the, uh, you know, books and the, all the information. Second model we'll talk about that we say, you see, horizontal learning model. What will you do in this is that you see, please try to understand that all the aspirants, whether it is your, uh, let's suppose you have different GS journal studies models, right? Whether you are preparing for any exam, whether it is your FTS exam or any other related exam. But I think you all will agree with me that the basic framework of from Indian polity to Indian economy and, you know, the whole, you know, modern history to even the current status of your environment and ecology, you all will agree with me. You have to do exam ki preparation for any exam. You have to study these basic pillars of the national level. Is this okay? Yes, ma'am. 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 The examiner आपसे कौन से subjects की knowledge expect करते हैं? So ये broad subjects हैं, then yes we we can have certain miscellaneous subjects related to any advancement related to science and technology in any field and one. But these are the you know even we have even geography over here. Now the point is that when we start our preparation. जब हम अपनी तैयारी शुरू करते हैं तो हम क्या करते हैं हम इन सब को अलग अलग पढ़ लेते हैं कंपार्टमेंटलाइज आइसोलेटेड वे में एंड वी रिटेन वी एक्वायर ऑल द नॉलेज ये सब हमारे मॉड्यूल्स हैं एंड वी थिंक कि अपना अपना हमारा सिलेबस कंप्लीट हो गया है हमने बेसिक स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस बुक्स पढ़ ली हैं लेट सपोज हमने एन पढ़ ली हैं राइट ठीक है और वी नो हमने अपने नोट्स पढ़ लिए हैं हमने मॉड्यूल वाइज टेस्ट भी दे दिए हैं राइट but when the performance comes to the current, we feel a lot of information of information. I think that we have to utilize this to utilize it or to retain it. Especially especially from the prelims point of view. So for that, in the first stage, you gain different modules of knowledge. So you get conceptual clarity. Right? But later on, when you revise them, Right? और जब आपको रिवाइज करके लगे कि अच्छा आपको कंसेप्ट्स क्लियर हैं बेसिक आपके पास जो है फंडामेंटल क्लैरिटी है उसके बाद सेकंड आप अपनी लर्निंग को फर्दर डेवलप करें वेयर आई कॉल इट कि आप मॉड्यूल्स के बीच में भी लिंकेज बनाए राइट फॉर एग्जांपल यहां आपने आर्टल टनल की बात की लेट्स से ठीक है अब यदि आप मॉड्यूल की बात करें तो आपका मॉड्यूल यहाँ पर यू नो दिस इज इकोनॉमी अंडर इकोनॉमी और टॉकिंग अबाउट कि वन वेरी मास्टरपीस सम बिग फिजिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हैज बीन क्रिएटेड ठीक है 
but you relate it to okay what will be the effect of atal tunnel on the lives of you know people of lahol valley so that means you related to from their impact on their socio cultural practices traditions and of course the current perspective of organization of snow festival thanks to atal tunnel it is not just the infrastructure through this tunnel even the scope of tourism will be cashed right ab aap can you think of अब आपने एक अपना इकोनॉमिक से लिया आपने इसको रिलेट किया आपने इसको सोशो कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट से रिलेट किया बट वॉट विल बी इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन द इकोलॉजी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वॉट विल बी द न्यू इन्वायरमेंटल चैलेंजेस द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विल फेस इज डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वेल प्रिपेयर टू हैंडल द रश ऑफ द टूरिस्ट राइट so that means i can you see ab apne yahan par kitne sare modules ki information ko link karna hai this part is you know it's not that now examiner in prelims point of view apne jab ek topic prepare kiya apne us topic ko features kya hai tunnel ke you know length everything apne usko yahan se prepare kiya but what is the you know number of the tourist which are reaching what all district administration has taken up the steps maybe from distribution of the jute bags to are they planning now bro is planning to have a maybe a toll tax also you know so that means what are the preparations you know how we can minimize any other challenge related to their unsustainability everything so if you hear at the beginning of the stage if you prepare this type of a linkage it will help you further in the second stage also when you express your perspective from different modules it will help you finally in your last leg of the journey also where you have to convince the panelists that your knowledge is all integrated it is not isolated this is the only way where we can develop this type of a integration learning right so that intra uh, you know this intra module concept you know, linkage let me uh, no no now give you another example now you all know that union budget has been uh, you know released agree all of you yes ma'am right theek hai in this economic budget in the field of education the finance ministry has talked about you know digital universities right okay now you know now himachal state is working on the proposal of sending this you know planner to the you know union government that they are going to propose a digital university you know in mandi district you know specific sundarnagar ab now prelims point of view say your examiner is very very specific you know you please remember the nature of your examiner jab aap se sawal puche jate hain aapka paper set kiya jata hai wo aap se specific information puchte hain aur wo aap se factual information puchte hain so that means even sometimes statistical information ka bhi role rehta hai right ab aapne yahan par हमने यदि प्रिलिप्स में सवाल आया आपको डिजिटल यूनिवर्सिटी विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट या विच प्लेस स्पेसिफिक आपने ये बात कर ली लेकिन जब जैसे आपने करंट में इस टॉपिक को पढ़ा आपने रीड किया या आपने ये रिटेन किया आपने इसको याद रखने की कोशिश की तो आपने सेंटर में यहाँ रखा डिजिटल यूनिवर्सिटी और अब इंट्रा मॉड्यूल परस्पेक्टिव से आपने इसमें फाइव मिनट स्पेंड करके थोड़ा सा ब्रेन स्ट्रॉन्ग किया एक सेक्टर तो पता ही है कि आप डिजिटल यूनिवर्सिटी को एजुकेशन सेक्टर से लिंक करेंगे तो इससे आपका स्टेट का जो सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है वो स्ट्रेंथन हो रहा है आई होप यू ऑल एग्री विद मी आर यू देयर ऑन दिस कॉल कि सब ये बात आप सबको क्लियर है यू एग्री विद दिस कि डिजिटल यूनिवर्सिटी का सुंदरनगर मंडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में यदि फ्यूचर में जो एस्टेब्लिश होता है तो वो एजुकेशन सेक्टर को सपोर्ट करेगा ठीक है एम्प्लॉयमेंट को भी सपोर्ट करेगा डू यू थिंक की नेशनल लेवल पर यदि हम यहाँ पर 
टेक्नोलॉजी की बात करें तो जो डिजिटल इंडिया मिशन है और जो हम इस पेंडेमिक में स्पेशली हिमाचल स्टेट की जो डिजिटल डिवाइड की बात करते हैं है ना ये उसको भी कैटर करेगा और जो हमारा डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट है और हम जहां पर बात करते हैं स्किल इंडिया मिशन की तो ये उस उसमें भी इसका रोल होगा सो दैट मीन्स इट्स नॉट दैट कि हम एक ही जगह रुक जाए बस वहां एक जगह नहीं रुकना है वो अप्रोच तो सही होगी बट वो कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव नहीं होगी है ना तो आपने उसको देखा इकोनॉमी से आपने उसको देखा टेक्नोलॉजी से आपने उसको देखा यू you नो know, आपके एजुकेशन परस्पेक्टिव से राइट सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि जो भी आप इंफॉर्मेशन जब आप फर्स्ट टेक में ही फर्स्ट गो में ही फिल्म की इंफॉर्मेशन पढ़ते हैं तब तभी आप जो है इस तरह से अपने जो है मॉडल्स जो हैं आप साथ साथ इसके डेवलप कर लें फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से अब आपने क्या किया लेट से वी हैव आई गिव यू अन अदर एग्जाम्पल द बुक्स ऑल्सो नाउ से वट वी हैव डन इज अब आपके पास वर्टिकल लाइन ऑफ थाट भी आपका डेवलप्ड है और आपको अब ये भी पता है कि मुझे इसको मॉड्यूल से भी लिंकेज करना है तो नेचुरली अ टाइम विल कम कि आपकी जो लर्निंग है वो ऑल द टाइम इतनी इंटीग्रेटेड हो जाएगी दैट इट विल मेक अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ ग्रेड और फिर यहाँ से किसी भी तरह की लीकेज की पॉसिबिलिटी नहीं होगी अब जब आप अपने आप को प्रेजेंट करेंगे चाहे कम्युनिकेशन में जब आप रिकोगशन टेस्ट देंगे मतलब जब आप एम सी क्यू सॉल्व करेंगे या जब आप सब्जेक्टिव में जो है अपना एक्सप्रेशन देंगे राइट right? तो आपके पास जो है वो एक तरह से सिमिटेड इंफॉर्मेशन होगी जो कहीं से इधर उधर जा नहीं सकती और वो इंफॉर्मेशन हॉलिस्टिक होगी डज इट मेक सम सेंस यस मैम यस मैम राइट तो इन दिस परस्पेक्टिव से इसी परस्पेक्टिव और आप इस ग्रिड मॉडल को माइंड में रखते हुए लेट मी टेक यू टू द हिमाचल स्टेट you know one example you know one example of current affairs i'm sure by this time all of you must be having accessibility to this book himachal current affairs 2022 all of you yes ma'am yes, yes, yes ma'am ma and uh, you know we talk about okay jin months ki baat kar rahe the point is here now let me just give you one sample it talks about different sections by sections because obviously aapke gs ke different modules hain and even in your different allied or nt exams let me tell you all of you the trend is changing your examiner is focusing more on the economy part of himachal state you know less emphasis on the history part of himachal state right and if you prepare this economy current very well so what added advantage it gives you is ki aapka fir baad mein jo state ka survey hai state ka jo economic budget hai wo prepare hota hai right now yes of course there will be various sections related to ecology environment governance so that means you have your different papers right and now see let me give you one example now here it is talking about that prelims ka sawal kaise aayega aapne ye jo different current information hai isko aapne kaise register karna hai if they talk about that award for red rice cultivation to examiner aap se ye puchhenge ki red rice cultivation ka award either कौन से डिस्ट्रिक्ट को इफ यू कैन सी हेयर और दे विल आस्क यू द स्पेसिफिक प्लेस है ना कि यू टॉकिंग अबाउट किस सब डिविजन को है यू नो तो दिस पार्ट सो डोंट देर आर यू नो एस्पिरेंट जिनको थोड़ा एप्रीहेंशन और डाउट होता है कि ये करंट की इंफॉर्मेशन है तो उन्हें लगता है कि सिर्फ मेन्स के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है लेट मी टेल यू सभी एग्जाम्स का स्पेशली जब हमने देखा आर का पेपर है आपका आगे जो फर्दर एग्जाम्स आएंगे इवन जो आपका इधर आपका जो था एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर का ईओ के पे एग्जाम्स थे द पैटर्न इज चेंजिंग सो एज अ रिजल्ट ये आपका अपना बनाया हुआ माइंडसेट है कि ये जो किताब है ये हमने अभी क्या करनी है अभी हमारे प्रिलिम्स ही नहीं क्लियर हुआ है प्रिलिम्स के लिए तो हमें अभी हिस्ट्री ही सारी जो है क्रैम करनी पड़ेगी बस हिस्ट्री ही रटनी है तो करंट का रोल नहीं है करंट में बजट और सर्वे पढ़ने में प्रॉब्लम क्यों आती है क्योंकि स्टेट की इकोनॉमी नहीं पता होती है तो ये इस इस पर्टिकुलर ये जितनी भी आपकी करंट की डिफरेंट जो है बुक्स जो हैं इंस्टीट्यूट के लेवल पर जो अवेलेबल हैं वो इसीलिए हैं ताकि वो आपको प्रिलिम्स क्रैक करने में हेल्प करेंगे 
right? So this is this is one example I'm giving. For example, another example, if they ask you statistically, I told you, आप स्टेट लेवल के एग्जामिनर जब आपके क्वेश्चन सेट होते हैं तो उनको बहुत अच्छा लगता है आपसे बहुत सारा फैक्चुअल और स्टैटिस्टिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन पूछना ठीक है सो नाउ द ऑल द स्टैटिस्टिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ मच एरिया इज अंडर कल्टीवेशन ऑफ रेड राइस यदि रेड राइस की बात हो रही है राइट एंड वॉट आर द वराइटीज सो दिस बुक और सच टाइप ऑफ यू नो कंपाइलेशन ऑफ द मटीरियल विल गिव यू दिस यू नो फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन ये सब आपके प्रिलियम्स की इन्फॉर्मेशन है let me give you another example there will be lot of examples let's suppose they are talking about now you know this uh, mura buffalo breeding farm to obviously aapka question is part se aa jayega ek to wo aapse allocation aur outlet bahut puchte hain then they'll ask you this project will be started in which district what is the place where this is all time favorite yadi recently aapne dekha hoga ki government or prime minister was there for inauguration of hydro power projects so this hydro power project should not be just perceived from the economy side even from the geography side so they are talking about acha renuka ji dam project so ab examiner aap se jo hai iski geography ka question puch lega hai na renuka ji dam project jo hai wo kaha kis river par situated hai is let's suppose you say ki acha you know giri river so this is the tributary of which river so that mean har har aspect se jo hai question puche ja sakte hain ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ यू कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ऑन इफ दे टॉक अबाउट हेयर यू नो इवन ब्लैक कुमिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड कुमिंग समझते हैं काला जीरा ठीक है सो इफ दे आर आस अबाउट यहाँ पर हम बात कर रहे हैं कि वॉट इज द किन्नौर शुड नॉट बी जस्ट नोन फॉर द एप्पल इकोनॉमी किन्नौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट यू नो इट इज वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर काला जीरा ऑल्सो नाउ दिस काला जीरा दैट मीन्स यू रिलेटेड टू कि अच्छा इट हैज गॉट जी आई टैग ऑल्सो तो so, इसको जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेटर का भी टैग है है ना एंड देन ये सब कोर्स देन यू कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन थिंकिंग अच्छा अब ये जी टैग एक्ट है फिर ये इसका हेडक्वार्टर कहाँ पर है करंट नेशनल लेवल है ना कहाँ से अप्रूव होकर मिलता होगा यू नो दैट वेज एंड ऑफ कोर्स देन यदि आप इसको सब्जेक्टिव से देखते हैं तो आप देखेंगे कि वॉट आर द इम्प्लीकेशन वट आर द सिग्निफिकेंस वॉट इज द यूटिलिटी राइट and let me now take you randomly to for example aise is part se last time also we had you know five different questions from in your prelims exam were being asked direct from this book like jaise district good governance ki baat kari they were talking about the flower market ki baat hui let me take you to this part because himachal state mein bahut external funded project hai ye examiner ka standard pattern rehta hai ki wo aapse puchhenge क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन प्रोजेक्ट को जो है कौन सा कंट्री सपोर्ट कर रहा है सो नेचुरली यदि आप यू नो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज जापान इंटरनेशनल कॉपरेशन एजेंसी सो कंपनी यू नो द कंट्री इज यू नो जापान देन इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट दे लास्ट यू दैट ओके फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट वॉज यू नो इन विच डिस्ट्रिक्स हेयर राइट नाउ द सेकेंड फेज इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इन हाउ मेनी डिस्ट्रिक्स सो इन द फर्स्ट फेज इन दीज फाइव डिस्ट्रिक्स so the second phase is in all the district you know so what is this project all about for example jaise these days aapka jo hai in horticulture sector you know shiva project is very much in news so they'll ask you the standard question that you know kaun si external agency jo hai is project ko fund kar rahi hai so this is all prelims right these uh, the intention behind using these type of boxes or you call it keywords or catchword is not just from subjective you know because you know when you have the information statistical information and most of the time it is all time examiner favorite ki himachal state ka some statistics or ranking you know now in this book you'll get lot of uh, information on let's say multi dimensional poverty index or maybe sustainable development goal index urban development index right so that that way is you know now you let's suppose now let me take you to another level let's say this part this is another very important prelims question that you know the country's first kafal kafal is a kind of a wild fruit we talk about right okay so this ka first kafal garden will be you know developed where right so this is all you know uh, prelims information 
yes now you relate it to economy you relate it to the development and of course to other dimensions of your journal studies right so yes suppose here they will talk about in this book we have mentioned that there will be first flower market has been inaugurated right so it is like floriculture where right now this dragon fruit cultivation so first standard question you know kaun se district mein iska pilot project ho raha hai aise there will, will be news related to cinnamon that is you know cinnamon you understand dalchini ki baat ho rahi hai so here examiners ab kyunki pattern change hai to examiner aapko bahut sari statements de dete hain it is not just simple ki cinnamon ka pilot first again organized project kahan ho raha hai una district mein ho raha hai they'll ask give you ki you know Bachar State is known for what, like cinnamon ka cultivation, organized efforts for its cultivation. Actually, it started in Bachar State only. It is for the first time in the country. And then they will ask you, "Acha, kaun se district mein ho raha hai? What are the government subsidies and incentives?" So, if you have only half information, you will know that which district it is. But in that, what is the further horticulture department supporting? Because they will not know. Then there will be a problem. Then there will be an answer correct. you know so when they give you the statements right when they give you the codes and the combinations to uska reason yahi hai right so the, the this is the intention behind it jaise yadi aapne abhi uh, abhi aapne recently dekha ho jaise national level par we have the scheme one district one product scheme right so now this is national level a vertical model kya banega is part se like here we maybe have talked about garlic cultivation which district is very popular yes any one of you you all simmore simmore district is very popular so the examiner here in prelims will ask you you know simmore district ke kaun se blocks jo hai wo bahut zyada famous hai for this and or ya simmore district ka kaun sa product jo hai wo one district one product scheme mein select kiya gaya hai ab ye aap ye this all is mentioned this is this is the strategy this is what i am trying to share with you ki isko padhna kaise hai aapne ab jaise recently chamba district has declared ki hum apni one district one product scheme ab examiner will ask you ki chamba district ne apne district level pe kis product ko include kiya hai ab wahan par option honge aapke paas let's suppose they are talking about ki chamba ki makki ki baat ho rahi hai hai na बट यहाँ पर ऑप्शन होगी एप्पल की बात हो रही है राइट राइट एंड मे बी सम यू नो ड्राई फ्रूट्स की बात हो रही है लेट सपोज राइट सो सरप्राइजिंगली यू नो चंबा डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज सेलेक्टेड एप्पल अब ये प्रिलियम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से आपने रिटेन कर लिया बट जब आप मेन स्पेस को डिस्कस करेंगे सो यू डेवलप योर परस्पेक्टिव दैट इट इज द शिमला एंड किन्नौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच आर वेरी पॉपुलरली और विच एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट द होल एप्पल इकोनॉमी ऑफ द स्टेट सो चंबा में और डायवर्सिफाइड बेटर प्रोडक्ट्स हैं सो वाई एप्पल फ्रॉम हेयर रिलेटिंग डज इट मेक सम सेंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस मैम राइट यस मैम लेट्स टेक लेट मी यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट हॉर्टिकल्चर लेट मी गिव यू द अनदर वैरायटी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल राइट लेट मी टेक यू टू Give me a minute. I'll take you to other infrastructure projects. जो हमें लगता है कि इसमें से क्या पढ़ना है, कैसे पढ़ना है, कैसे क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं, you know? अब these days in infrastructure, हमारे स्टेट में बहुत बात हो रही है, you know, ropeways की, uh, ropeway projects की, tourism point of view से, right? So the one standard question in prelims will be they last, you know, see these are the different ropeway projects. तो एग्जामिनर आपको क्या करते हैं मैचिंग में क्वेश्चंस पूछ लेते हैं राइट दे लास्ट यू हियर दैट ओके नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट और ये प्रोजेक्ट विल लीड टू ये कहाँ से कहाँ तक कनेक्ट करेगा यू नो दिस वे अनदर स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन हेयर इट वी कैन बी द एजेंसी व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्व लाइक सपोज दिस इज हाउ यू मेक यूज ऑफ दीज बॉक्सिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम फिल्म्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वॉट इज द नोडल एजेंसी विच इज इन्वॉल्व और समटाइम्स दे आस्क यू द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यू नो So, जैसे आप हॉर्टिकल्चर उसकी बात करते हैं अदर डे अभिषेक यू वर आस्किंग मी कि हिमाचल प्रदेश का हॉर्टिकल्चर आपका जो है मार्केटिंग कॉपरेशन है सो ऑल द एजेंसीज एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी यू नो इन कॉपरेटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेक यू हेयर टू बिकॉज करंट पार्ट से हाइड्रो पावर सेक्टर में स्पेशली यू सी 
Renukaji Dam project or the three hydropower projects. I'll just show you one table. Why we have given this type of presentation itself. That this is a typical standard prelims question. The capacity of each hydropower project, the rivers on which they are located, and the districts. So this is how you can make use of this information. Um, now for Rengaji Dam project. Now, especially here, you know, if I, uh, especially from the student aspirants who will be facing the interview also this time. So the in this because this has been the earlier practices also. There is uh, the panelists have a tendency to ask, you know, a lot of questions related to the sharing of the different states. What will be and what will be the investment of the different states, right? And of course, the detailed information, the historical part and the funding pattern, if I take you to this particular part now. So even if, you know, for a very quick revision, even you make use of mobile phones, all together, it's me lots of information and statistical part. Ki aapne uske screenshot le le. Aur aapne quickly jo hai, you keep on revising them just before the exam. So this is what is you know all the prelims related information about the project and even the name of the place, the district, ki abo sir more district mein hai na. Renuka ji block ki the Dau mein situated hai. What is the agency, the river, tributary, funding pattern, everything. So that means in one in one go only, a key platform may you have lots of information. Up this information ko up jitna aapko prelims may the retain hoga tabito aap means no sko express kar paying. Or I say different interview ke us us part say because you know one of the members of your commission he has been retired from the electricity board itself. So naturally, members' ka jo expertise or jo background hoga, so the probability will be very high that they will ask you. This is how you make use of this uh, current information. For example, now, uh, you know, other the parts, let me take you, the Himachal, you know, the state police has been awarded good rank, you know, in CCTNS project, let's say. There will be another reference points of let's suppose now this is road safety okay let me take you to that uh, you know cyber police station which is a eight bar up prelims me question i have a first cyber police station come open with a question i am a first female police station when it was opened where which district right now they ask you the himachal performance in you know the cctns project to be national level key point of use to hey digital and e-governance model but what is Himachal, you know, this thing that? So this will all help you. And of course, the achievement of Himachal. Every time, whenever you prepare your prelims, or even while expressing ki aapki state ki achievements kya hai, apne separate is me alag se aap bana lije, if that from e Vidhan Sabha to e cabinet to, you know, first stage to connect uh, all the police stations with CCTNS. And if, even here, they're talking about Himachal state me, Recently, drug ka helpline ki baat ki hai. So they'll ask you ki kaun si helpline hai. Jaysay aapko prelims me pehle question hai mein. Guriya helpline kya hai? Hushar Singh helpline kya hai? They'll ask you. Hai na? CM helpline kya hai? So they'll ask you, drug ki a separate helpline hai? Ya kya hai? What is the helpline number? So you should know it. So I say we have a separate topic here on drugs issues in the Himachal state. Right? You know, they ask you randomly in prelims, you know, what is the... Uh, register 29 aap jab hai isme drugs ki baat karenge prelims point of view se to ab jaise center has uh, state has just uh, launched new sports policy so for sure your examiner is going to ask you what all incentives are there so that means you must retain it all the statistics wo matching mein aa sakte hain combinations mein aa sakte hain hai na gold medalist ko how much financial incentives will be given what about the silver ones so this is how you you need to make use of this from now the first thing here is from prelims perspective let me just here take you to the uh, you know this drugs level then i'll ask you know make you understand jaise ye multi dimensional ke humne baat ki even you'll hear get reference of register 29 so that is our examiner prelims mein puchhenge register 29 kis context mein 
लग सकता है कि रेवेन्यू एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में यूज होगा है ना और दे मे लास्ट यू इस पार्ट से कि ये डिजिटल uh, रिकॉर्ड्स के लिए है और मे बी वन ऑप्शन कैन बी दैट इट इज यू नो यूज बाय लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पुलिस पर्सनल इज गोइंग टू मेंटेन द सेपरेट रजिस्टर फॉर द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ द ड्रग यू नो पेडलर्स और एडिक्ट्स दैट वे सो दैट दैट मीन दिस इज हाउ यू दिस होल इंफॉर्मेशन इज देयर राइट दिस इज I just wanted to give you a uh, feel of it. कि जब आप इस बुक को पढ़ेंगे, तो what all information will be there, and ये सिर्फ आपका एक fixed mindset रहेगा यदि हम ये सोचेंगे कि इसमें तो सारी information जो है subjective लिखा हुआ है और ये subjective सिर्फ mains में आएगा. It is not like that, right? Because इसमें से आपका information जो है current में आएगा और जितना आप इसको utilize करेंगे उतना आपके लिए स्पोर्ट्स और सॉरी बजट और सर्वे से रिलेट करना इजी हो जाएगा राइट ओके नाउ ब्रीफली लेट मी हियर टेक यू टू अभी अगेन इसी बुक में बहुत सारे यू नो इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है आपको जो है अलग अलग डिफरेंट फील्ड्स की मिलेगी यू नो बी इट यू नो एरो स्पोर्ट्स यू नो इन्फॉर्मेशन और मे बी सम अनदर कल्चरल इनिशिएटिव राइट ओके Let's assume now. Now let me here take you to the subjective perspective, right? That that is the second stage, as well as for, you know when you how you will incorporate this information while you know facing the interview, right? For example, now we all know that the you know Union Ministry of Civil Aviation has released this draft of you know aerospace policy. and the aerospace policy is here now related to adventure tourism right so that means if here at the state level examiner asks you ki aapka jo hai bir billing mein paragliding ho rahi hai there are other unfortunate incidences and there is a big question mark on the safety issues of adventure tourism hai right? na so what are the state government initiatives what can be done there you can quickly express and you know your current in knowledge that you know is particular draft may even yes of course himachal state has been selected and yes of course then you show your knowledge related to the broad framework or the feature of this draft that okay there will be different control zones what are the rules regulations and everything so and how it will help it to aapne usko isolate nahi kiya aapne us national ki current information ko yahan par use kiya so the idea behind even uh, you know sharing this type of a news is also because this particular information is highly relevant from the state perspective let me give you another example now in this current affairs book itself you will find one initiative of ministry of culture it has you know uh, you know released one survey which says that mera kya tha bachcho yaad hai aap sabko kisi ko usme mera gaon meri dharohar thank you mera gaon meri dharohar right theek hai now how will you use this information for now this is for the first time but you reuse it for the himachal state uh, you know maybe the suggestion for the tourism department or you know how or even for preserving socio cultural heritage of himachal villages we talking about heritage villages also in himachal right to chahe aap isko smart city mission ke heritage preservation se relate kijiye चाहे आप इसको टूरिज्म से रिलेट कीजिए राइट और बट आप इस नेशनल इंफॉर्मेशन को यहाँ पर यूज कर पा रहे हैं राइट सो दिस इज हाउ आप करंट uh, यूज करते हैं लेकिन ये सब भी आप तभी कर पाएंगे जब आपके पास हर चीज का जो है ग्रिड अवेलेबल होगा जब तक आप ये अपने लेवल पे प्रैक्टिस नहीं करेंगे कैसे प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं जब आप फिल्म्स की प्रिपरेशन करेंगे तो आप नेचुरली गवर्नमेंट की स्टेट की यूनियन गवर्नमेंट की बहुत सारी स्कीम्स पढ़ें राइट और करंट इनिशिएटिव्स प्रोग्राम्स वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम्स पढ़ेंगे सो माय सजेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज दैट ट्राई टू प्रिपेयर अ ट्री फॉर एवरी टॉपिक यू स्टडी लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल लाइक यू टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके एजुकेशन सेक्टर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग सो प्रिपेयर एजुकेशन सेक्टर फ्रॉम यू नो all the angles for example you are, when you are preparing all education key schemes or let's say you are preparing national education policy so sir a policy se hi mat shuru kare ask yourself are you aware ki isme kaun si ministry involved hai 
Ask yourself what are the laws related to education sector. Ask yourself do you know ये all time examiner के favorite question रहते हैं। एक बार अभी आपको HS prelims में question आया है कि जब planning की जाती है, जब planning commission या even अब नीति आयोग या state government planning करते हैं, तो they are asking you कि जो economic planning है, वो कौन सी list का subject है? So that means constitutional provisions or status क्या है, right? Laws क्या कह रही हैं, administration क्या है? फिर आप बात करें policies क्या हैं, schemes क्या हैं और आपने इस education को कौन-कौन से levels पे पढ़ना है? You talk about primary education, you talk about secondary education, higher education, and of course क्योंकि आप means what are the regulatory bodies involved? UGC का क्या काम है, right? All India Council of Technical Education का क्या काम है? आपने एक ही banner पे आपने ये सब complete किया। जब आप सारे modules को समझ और पढ़ लेते हैं, तो it is very important कि आप अब you know हिमाचल स्टेट में landslides, disaster management, all time favorite, right? ठीक है। So जब आप landslides की बात करें, तो आप किन्नौर की बात करेंगे, तो that means यहाँ पर now the role of IIT Mandi early landslide part, especially aspirants who will be appearing for ACF interview also. All time very important. And now recently, Kangra District signing an MOU for you know installation of these landslides, early warning system, disaster. Or up now this disaster of its ecological vulnerability to what is the economic losses related to disaster, and of course how technology can be used to reduce it. Or fit tree वैसे ही बनाना है. जब आप prepare करें because you have separate unit, all time examiner favorite subject. So a lot of question in prelims, mains as well as interview also, right? So disaster management, same same provision. Please all of you follow this, at least try. You will not regret. Of what is the constitutional provision? Kya keh raha hai? Administration kya hai? Disaster management ki policy kya hai? Law kya hai? Recently government ne kya steps liye hai? Kya koi aisi state, model state hai? जिसका बड़ा एफिशिएंट है डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट मैक्निज्म, राइट ठीक है, सो नाउ सेम मॉडल यू कैन रेप्लिकेट इट फॉर यू नो हेल्थ यू कैन रेप्लिकेट इट फॉर ये आपका सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स, व्हाट एवर करंट इनफॉरमेशन, जितनी नेशनल फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम्स आप पढ़ेंगे, है ना फ्रॉम डिजिट राइट ठीक है एंड ऑफ कोर्स जो भी आप स्टेट स्पेसिफिक सेक्टर्स पढ़े जैसे हिमाचल स्टेट के इकोनॉमी सेक्टर्स हैं है ना सो यू रिलेटेड अब आप टूरिज्म को सिर्फ इकोनॉमी से मत रिलेट करें जब आप इको टूरिज्म की बात करते हैं तो आप उसको इकोलॉजी से भी रिलेट करते हैं जब आप ये कहते हैं कि वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिर्फ उत्तराखंड को ही क्यों सिलेक्ट कर रही है वाई नॉट हिमाचल तो आप यहाँ पर ग्लोबल रिकोगशन की भी बात करते हैं है ना और जब आप ये बात करते हैं कि इसमें भी the tourism related to snow festival, you know, so what all social cultural significance it will have, and of course the various dimensions of tourism. यदि इस पर आपने mains के पार्ट से देखो है जिसका, so उनके लिए tourism सबसे बड़ा hot topic रहा है. In all the three papers, there were lots of questions related to this sector. So I always, always recommend. Please prepare from your prelims point of view as well. You know, prepare four edges of Himachal very well, right? From your hotel and tourism industry to horticulture to your handloom handicraft, right? And hydropower. If you have your four pillars prepared clearly from all the angles, so naturally even your budget and survey will be taken care of, right? And of course, uh, you know, if we, if I happen to conclude to identify the, identify the burning issues and the topics, right? For example, if I say here disability, if I say disaster management, if I say health infrastructure, right? Okay. Now, when, when you identify, now please apply, first of all, please apply vertical model. What will be the vertical model? पहले आपको पता है national level पर क्या हो रहा है कौन सी ministry involved है जो disability के लिए फिर इसका state level okay state में क्या initiatives लिए हैं state की कोई specific scheme है 
शिमला यूनिवर्सिटी ने क्या किया है लेट सपोज कोई पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट है कोई पेक्यूलर है और यहाँ पर मे बी कैन बी कोट एग्जाम्पल और अ मॉडल ऑफ लर्निंग ऑफ सम अदर स्टेट क्योंकि एग्जामिनर विल आस यू दैट ऑल्सो आपका एग्जामिनर बहुत इंटरेस्टेड है आपकी ये नॉलेज चेक करने में कि लेट सपोज फॉरेस्ट हीलिंग का जो कंसेप्ट है वो आपकी कौन सी स्टेट में लॉन्च हुआ है है ना तो कौन सी स्टेट में हुआ है वैसे हिमाचल में ही हुआ है लव है ना उत्तराखंड में हुआ है सो अब ये इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रिलिम्स की है ये इन्फॉर्मेशन को वेन यू राइटिंग और बाई यू नो इंटरव्यू में जब आप तो आप सजेस्ट कर सकते हैं कि ये मॉडल्स जो हैं जो किसी पर्टिकुलर स्टेट के सक्सेसफुल मॉडल्स हैं वेदर इट इज मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट और एनी अदर स्पेसिफिक फील्ड वो आप स्टेट हिमाचल स्टेट स्पेसिफिक सजेशन दे सकते हैं सो आइडेंटिफाई द इशूज उसका वर्टिकल पहले पार्ट बनाओ सबसे पहला स्टेप है वर्टिकल जब आपने वो उसको वर्टिकल कर लिया प्रिलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से आप आपके फिर आप उसको लिंकेज कर लो कि ये जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है आपने इसको कह दिया अच्छा इकोनॉमी हाइड्रो पावर और ये इन्फॉर्मेशन वन पर्टिकुलर दिस टाइम अब उसको उसको हर पर्सपेक्टिव से हर मॉड्यूल के पर्सपेक्टिव से देखो हिस्ट्री क्या है उस चीज़ की अब ये यदि रेणुका जी डैम की बात हो रही तो प्रॉबिबिलिटी विल भी हाई कि आपको रेणुका जी फेयर के बारे में भी पूछ लेंगे है ना राइट right? ठीक है आपने इसको इससे भी लिंक किया फिर आपने इसको लिंक किया कि ऑल राइट व्हाट व्हाट कैन बी द डिफरेंट इकोलॉजिकल इश्यूज रिलेटेड टू इट तो जब आप इकोलॉजी मॉड्यूल में इन्वायरमेंट इफेक्ट असेसमेंट की बात करते हैं तो प्रॉब्लिटी भी पी हाई वो पूछ लेंगे देन व्हाट विल बी द एडवांटेजेस रिलेटेड टू कि इंट्रा स्टेट क्या है तो आपने उसको हर एंगल से देखा कोई भी पार्ट आप पढ़ते हैं विल टॉक अबाउट यू नो मनाली विंटर कार्निवॉल की आप बात करेंगे उसको सिर्फ स्टेट के एंगल से मत देखिए उसका हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव क्या है राइट ठीक है प्रेजेंटली यू नो इट व्हेन इट स्टार्टेड व्हेन इट वाज असाइन द स्टेट लेवल फेस्टिवल व्हेन इट वाज असाइन नेशनल लेवल स्टेटस राइट एंड ऑफ कोर्स व्हाट आर द यूनिक इनिशिएटिव्स सो स्पेशली एस्पिरेंट्स हु विल बी टेकिंग इंटरव्यू सो वन ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ योर कमीशन यू नो वो बहुत कीन और पर्टिकुलर होते हैं टू सेस योर नॉलेज कि कोई रिकॉर्ड ब्रेक हुआ कोई मेजर अचीवमेंट थी इस बात की तो आपने जैसे ही आपने इसको इससे लिंक किया और आपने इसको हिस्ट्री से है ना अब रेणुका जी इस बात की तो आपने इसको जोग्राफिकल एंगल से रिवर से ट्रिब्यूटरी से लिंक किया इकोनॉमी एंगल से लिंक किया हिमाचल स्टेट को कितना रेवेन्यू जनरेट होगा उसको क्या बेनिफिट होगा राइट तो आ, जैसे और अब चांसेस ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता चांसेस आर वेरी वेरी निल कि कोई एरर हो जाए कि आपको प्रिलिम्स का क्वेश्चन आए और आप कर ना पाए या आप मेंस में आंसर लिखे तो वो आपको वो आंसर एग्जामिनर इम्प्रेस ना हो उस उसको लगेगा कि वाह बड़ी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया आपने आपने तो कोई पॉइंट छोड़ा ही नहीं इट इज एज इफ कि आप सामने वाले को मौका ही नहीं दे रहे कि कोई उंगली उठाएगा कोई कहेगा ये रह गया नंबर वो कंपेल हो जाए कि मार्क्स कहाँ से काटे ऐसे ही वो यही चीज आपसे इंटरव्यू में पूछ रहे हैं तो वो सोचने पे हो जाए अच्छा आपको तो ये स्टेट्स की शेयरिंग भी पता है आपको तो फंडिंग पैटर्न भी पता है ये सब चीजें आपको ऑलरेडी प्लेटफॉर्म पे मिल रही हैं आपने क्या करना है उसको आपने कहीं इधर उधर जाना नहीं है खोजना नहीं है ढूंढना नहीं है बस आपने उसको कॉन्शियसली इनकलकुलेट करना है और उसको रिवाइज करना है रिवाइज करना है आई कैन अश्योर यू कि आपको इस लेवल इसमें रिवीजन यदि आप प्रॉपरली इसकी करेंगे और इसको यूटिलाइज करेंगे आप एरर चांसेस आर वेरी वेरी निल ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि आप अपना एग्जाम का जो वो प्रेशर है या जो लेवल है आप उसको हैंडल ना कर पाए ऐसा नहीं हो सकता इस पार्ट से ठीक है दिस इज ऑल आई वॉन्टेड एक्चुअली टू शेयर विथ यू सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम फॉर योर पेशेंस लिस्निंग You know, I'm available for your doubts, your questions. If you have any, actually, I'm not able right now to open my chat box. Nidhi, just stop presenting. You'll be able to do that. All right. Thank you. I think Shilpa, you will help me out because I think the system has been hanged, so it is not. Okay. Okay. Um. So, uh, if you have any questions, you can 
put uh, it in the chat box. I've already shared uh, Eliza's uh, question. She was asking for, for the book. I've shared the download. Eliza again has a question, which is the best book to read for prelims for NT for HPGK? See, uh, you know, as such, you can't say that there is a particular book from the prelims point of view. It depends on what section of the HPGK you want to focus on. Right? If you're talking about the current part, this book is available. If you're talking about the conventional uh, part, you know, from a perspective. You know? So even we have uh, this book by Rajendra Atri, Himachal GK, the static portion will be well taken care of. Right? Achha. Uh, and you are asking notes. Uh, aap, Anjali, aap kaun se notes ki baat kar rahe hai? Uh, matlab, which type of notes are you talking about? Current ke notes ki baat kar rahe hai, kisi specific module ki baat kar rahe hai, Himachal state ki baat kar rahe hai, current affairs ki baat kar rahe hai. Current jo, affairs, she Right. Jo aapke current affairs hai, jaysay jo state ki hai, that is there. Na? Ye to are already aapke notes is me jo hai, ho banne me hai. Jo aapke national current affairs hai, na? institute ke level par aapke paas group me, जो regularly articles और magazines जो आपकी monthly current magazines जो है share होती हैं that is more than sufficient तो उसके लिए भी आपको उनको बस revise करना है retain करना है तो उससे आपका जो notes बनाने का जो जो है ना it will save you a lot of time आपने बस later on उसको जो है अपने subjective में incorporate करना है thank you so much शिल्पा मैम has already shared the link for uh, you know your magazine or your respective uh, groups mein jo hai already jo hai regularly jo hai monthly magazines current ki share hai. Theak hai? Should How to be... prepare for economy section, socio-economic development of HP, there are two people who have asked the same question. Me, Sudanshu has given the title of this book if I'm not mistaken. This is uh, the book for uh, you know, this uh, HPGK, how to prepare for economy section, Himachal, this part. Shubham, uh, since, you know, you are, a, now you will be very soon going to be registered student of the institute. Now, in the at the institute level, we take, there are separate ses sessions and the classes for, uh, you know, HP economy part. So every topic from industries to handicraft handlooms to hydropower to tourism, so every type of information, static as well as the contemporary information that is shared, you will be given all this content and the study material related to it. There will be sections devoted for it. Very soon, you know, maybe from the next week, we'll be going to start economy section, HP classes on especially horticulture and agriculture. So even students who are, you know, who are not a registered student institute, so you are also welcome to make use of those classes. Up to sessions, you can attend. Shubham, I hope I satisfy your query. Again, those of you who are not registered with the academy, I have shared the link for a Telegram group where we keep on updating our aspirants with the the current affairs and whatever is happening, right? Also, I have posted uh, uh, the links for uh, HP GK book that can be downloaded on a payment of hundred rupees. And I'm uh, and you can just visit our website and uh, there's a knowledge center right there. So if you visit the knowledge center, there is a huge amount of content that is upgraded every day, uh, section wise upgradation of the content. So please make use of that, right? Keep visiting the website. Join us in the Telegram group, and I'm I'm just posting another uh, link for uh, uh, the current affairs section also in in the uh, website, uh, and you can just make use of the effort that we are putting in um, as an academy, so that you know it reduces your uh, uh, labor, right? So there's a lot of ready-made, ready-to-use, useful content available on the we website. Please take out time and make use of that yes i'm doing that okay i don't think there are any more questions 
So probably, Nidhi, we can close the session now. All right. Anything you want to share, you want to say, any other feedback, aspirants? Best book for Indian economy. Ankush is asking for that. Ankush, aap, uh, Indian economy part ke liye. Aapke is part se, I think we'll talk about basic conceptual book is Sanjeev Verma. Yes, Riti. Thank you. Riti has already shared the name. That is a, the book based on the basic conceptual. But yes, for Indian economy, like suppose because economic decisions are, you know, uh, changing or maybe there are more policies. For that, we have to rely on current only. Okay, so we are starting with a new batch for uh, HPAS and HPAS Allied on Monday. The timing is 5.30. If you wish to have any further information regarding uh, the coverage of the syllabus, the content that we share with you, the how of uh, our teaching, you can contact me. I've shared my number here again in the chat box. My name is uh, Dr. Shilpa, to those of you, you who you do not know me. Um, and, uh, you know, and for any help and guidance, uh, uh, the landline and uh, uh, my number, I'm also sharing uh, our uh, email ID with all of you. You can just uh, shoot a mail, get in touch with us, and we will get back to you. It's SNM Education 2011 at the rate gmail.com. Uh, I think ma'am has right. already seen yeah. uh, please uh, search the yeah. chat box. The link yeah. is there for the Telegram uh, uh, group as well. All right. So um, we would love to help you out in your journey for HPS preparation. And uh, I really uh, express my gratitude to my colleague Nidhi for taking out time, preparing uh, for this uh, one hour of session, putting in so much of effort to preparing a, a exclusive content for uh, uh, HAS students. And those of you who are, who are uh, her students, you know her love for knowledge and her love for th this uh, beautiful state of Himachal. So we will keep serving you. We'll keep guiding you. And uh, uh, we will accompany you in your uh, journey of uh, your preparation. Uh, ask for help whenever it is desired. Right? So okay. signing off from my side, over to you, Nidhi, if there's anything else you wish to say. So I just wish you that, you know, you make best use of this information and knowledge and may you succeed in your efforts without, uh, you know, any hurdles. Right? So may your journey become effortless with the support of the Institute right go ahead right sky is the limit for you all the best for to all of you um, you have shared much. what is this Thank share you, link for? this is the uh, telegram channel link okay all right we, have okay. Already uh, we would be posting this uh, session on youtube also so if any of you have missed any portions uh, you can you know go back to the youtube uh, channel also and um, have a look at that again so once again, thank you so much, Nidhi, and thank you so much, everyone, to be present. I hope you found value in this one hour, and you're going to utilize whatever you have gathered in this one hour. All the best to all of you. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma thank, you. thank you, ma'am. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Ma ending.